Why did you call yourself Stan SB? I call myself Stan SB because my full name is Stanley Stevenson Byrne. SB on my second names is put those together. I thought it was more personal than to make an alias. I write songs about things that are personal to me and I'd rather be personal with you guys and it just makes more sense. What is your favourite movie? The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, or maybe Cloverfield, or City of God, which is actually amazing. Uh, lots of I, I watch a lot of films, so that's a really hard question. Shut up. Will you ever make music videos? I plan to make lots and lots of music videos, and I'll be doing my first one within the next few months. Do you play any video games? Yeah, I play lots of video games, uh, usually with Faint and Buster. Terraria, TF2, Tory Bash. We play a lot of games. What got you into electronic music? Probably The Prodigy. I heard Outer Space when I was really young and I loved it, so I kept going. How do you start making a track? Usually with chords or a little melody, like the one at the beginning of Dead. Uh, and then I write vocals and pads and things all around that, and then the drums usually come last. Which is strange, because most drum and bass producers start with drums. What is your favourite plugin? My favourite plugin would probably have to be Spline EQ. It's a crazy EQ plugin that means you can see everything happening. Uh, it's not like anything you've ever seen before. It's amazing. I recommend getting it. I also use Massive a lot, which is where I get most of my crazy sounds from. Do you get lonely when you work? I don't get lonely in the studio, actually, no, because I have Gizmo. What is the future of electronic music? I think the future of electronic music is actually going to be drum and bass, which is lucky for anyone in the drum and bass scene. It seems like a lot of the dubstep producers, like the really big ones, seem to be making the jump to drum and bass, which is uh, going to bring a lot of dubstep fans into the genre and make some really cool things happen for people like me and everyone else. Any tips for new producers? My biggest tip would be to keep going. A lot of the things you'll make at first won't sound very good. It's just how it is. It'll take a few months and then things will start sounding good and then eventually you'll be making the sounds you want to make. Will you be making more house? Probably. Not for a while. I've got a lot of tracks I need to finish. When will you do another live mix? I think I'll do another mix when I hit either 3,000 subscribers on YouTube or 15,000 fans on Facebook. Depends which. When will you be releasing your EP? I'm hoping to get this EP out by the end of the year or just after, so you can look out for that and that'll be my first release. Will you play a show in my town? If you want me to play in your town, you should go to a local promoter and say, hey, I've got this guy I'd quite like to come over, this is what he's caught, this is what he does. And I'll um, do my best to negotiate with them and come over and we can get a drink and talk about music. Why do you dress like a 90s cartoon character? Because the world needs a little bit more colour. What is your best troll face? Did you play ukulele in the track Calling? That's really out of tune. Would you like your name to be Siolan? No. What is the best part about making music? The most enjoyable part about creating music is that moment when you get everything right. You know that you're the reason that it sounds like that and you've taken hours and hours and hours and days to do it. It's the best feeling in the world just to know that you've created this thing and that it's exactly how you want it to be. It's great. Do you even lift? No. What do you write your lyrics about? All of my lyrics are personal to me and mean something to me, but I don't tell people what they mean because a lot of the time I have people tell me that certain songs have helped them with certain things, even though the song's not about that. So I guess people find their own meanings in the songs, which is awesome, and I don't want to take that away from anyone. Which is your favourite track of yours? I'm really happy with Dead, Simple Life, Tears and Rain even, Give Them Hell. And We're Alive I was really proud of when I finished as well. I don't know, that's a really hard one for me to answer. What happened to the chocolate sick? <coughs> we threw it away. Can I have your babies? Sure. Can I give you a neck rub? Well, my neck does feel a little stiff. How did you go about getting noticed? I never tried to get myself noticed. I was making tracks on Newgrounds.com and the guy from Liquicity found me and said, I really want to put this on my channel. And I was already a Liquicity fan, like hell yeah. And then it kind of just went a little bit crazy from there. And now I'm here doing shows that's incredible. And I've only got you guys to thank. What is your motivation? My motivation is just to keep making music. It's what I love doing. I think I'll stop for a very long time, unless I have to, or I go deaf, which I hope doesn't happen. What can we expect from Stan SB Live? Well, the live band is made up of me on bass and vocals and synth, Buster on guitar and Dan on drums. It's got my bass being taken through Ableton Live and I'm affecting it so that it becomes just a sub bass which sounds crazy on a big system. Got Dan with his snares and kicks triggered up so it sounds like real drum and bass kicks and snares so it's like 
it's awesome. Buster on guitar doing massive atmospheric guitar things and playing the leads on some of the songs, which is sick. Um, the live band's sounding crazy, and uh, I can't wait to show you. Why don't you make Monero? Oh, you mean like this? soon. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? I think I'd rather fight the mini horses because if you're fighting duck-sized horses and there's a hundred of them, they're just going to be like running at you. There's, there's not that much a small horse can do to you. Whereas if you've got a huge ass duck and it's got a beak and it's angry, it's going to peck at you and that's going to be a big problem and that's just going to get you killed really quickly. So I think I'd go for the duck-sized horses. What are you working on? I'm working on quite a lot of tracks at the moment that I really need to get finished. Um, I'll be doing that after I buy my monitors next week. So, um, yeah. These are the sort of things you can expect, though. Well, thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. Uh, I tried very hard to make sure I covered all bases. Um, I'll probably do another one of these in a few years. If you like what I'm doing, then subscribe. If you don't, don't subscribe, and I'll catch you soon.